Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. Today I have a brand new video for you guys. Today we are doing the El Maquillage Foundation and Concealer Test. So if you want to know if either of these products are worth your money, make sure to keep on watching. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I hope you guys are safe at home and um, you know, just staying six feet away from everybody else, I guess, <laughs> following the distance of us. I don't know. Just stay away from everybody. Be like, don't touch me. No. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, be sure to leave a comment down below what you think about this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for that YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel already. And make sure you hit that post notification icon so you are notified every single time I drop a brand new video. But yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so for you guys, I have this. It says minimalism is dead, and then it has the ill maquillage emblem right there, and it comes like this, and it says ill maquillage nor York. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> El Maquillage in New York. And then, yeah, that's pretty nice. And now we're just gonna open it up. And it says, over 75% of women get foundation wrong. Get yours right. Apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Blend out with a brush or sponge, not by hand. Wait five minutes for a foundation to set before checking the shade. Don't match to your neck or wrist. They're a different tone than your face. Finish your face with concealer, blush, and bronzer. Wear for a full week to determine if it's perfect for you. Who wears? So once you put the foundation and concealer, you're going to wear it for a whole week. That's one damn marketing scheme. I don't know. All right. So it's official. Week long foundation test. <laughs> no, that's going to be the title of this video. Week long foundation. Wait, let me do the thumbnail. Week long foundation. <laughs> It's not true, but it's a whole week. Oh, God, I open it. All right. So we just got, like, all this, like, wrapping stuff in here. But, yeah. All right, let me put the box to the side. So this is what the foundation looks like. So this is the Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. This is 30 milliliters from El Maquillage. And, yeah, let's see what it looks like. This right here looks like this i believe this retails for 48 dollars, and i'm in the shade 155 so it just looks like this it comes in a glass component glass component again this is the bobby brown one i usually use and then this is the nars one so they all look pretty similar with that uh fog glass i thought i took the quiz and honestly i thought that the shade they gave me was pretty dark like in the photos um like i don't know because it, it was all Wow, it looks pretty similar. It was all based off of like a quiz and I didn't really trust it, to be fair. But let's see if they proved me wrong. Maybe they got it perfect. So yeah, that's that's literally gonna be the test. So it is a pump, it looks like this. I'm gonna shake it. I just wanna see if it's silicone based or if it's oil based. Okay, it's silicone based. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so then we also got the El Maquillage Fuck, I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. And this is, I believe it retails for $28, if I'm not wrong, something like that. And I'm in the shade, don't know, some shade. Oh, I'm in shade 10. And this is what this looks like, the El Maquillage one. And it has a little window right here. Let's look at that doe foot. That's always interesting to look at. Oh, it's hard. It's the hardest doe foot ever had to pull out. Oh, it's just a straight doe foot. Okay. So we got those two brand new to try out today. So yeah, we're just gonna use this as our base like I usually would any other products. And then we're just gonna layer on everything like a natural look to see how it's gonna perform and stuff like that. As usual, I'm gonna go in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I can't freaking talk. <laughs> so what is up with you guys? I mean, just chileando, you know. Just like working and stuff. I don't know. Just making videos for you guys. <laughs> I've been having a lot of it. A lot of video. <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun pumping out videos. I hope you guys are enjoying them though. Because you know. 
that's that's all that matters oh yeah let me know down below what you guys think i should do next of course oh wait so now i'm gonna start sitting like this so you guys can see what i'm doing because i suck at that i want to improve that <laughs> Okay, I'm all primed and prepado. So there's nothing specific. I see that I have to change. Why is my forehead red right there? Um, anyways, continuing. I have like a little red thing here. Don't worry about that. Oh, my hair's in my face. Continuing. We're gonna go in with the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. And I'm just gonna go in like I normally would with any other foundation. I'll let you guys know how many pumps I've gone in with each time. But yeah, let's uh, go in. I'll let you guys know about everything. Okay, hello. Okay, hello. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was like four pumps. I mean, honestly, it looks like my color. I'm not even gonna lie. This is a real test. Let's see. Let's see how good this quiz is. Okay, I hate this. <laughs> Not actually, like I hate that. Why does it look good? What the frick? When am I gonna have a flop on this freaking channel? Okay, so. I'm gonna call the FBI because I don't know how they match me perfectly with the quiz online. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes, FBI. I'd like to report a murder. It's my face. It's been snatched. <laughs> and my wig as well. <laughs> okay, wait. Um, what the frick? Oh my god. And one pump. We're gonna go in with one more. I don't even know if I need one more, but fuck it. My biggest complaint is the smell, and it's not even that bad. It's just, like, not the best smell. It's, like, close to paint, but not paint. <laughs> like, makeup paint. But besides that, well, like, remember if you guys saw my Bobby Brown video, I talked about how I said that it was going to have some fierce competition. And I'm shook right now because the Il Maquillage one looks just as good as the Bobby Brown one. Whoa. Now I might have to do a video where I do half face Bobby Brown, half face Il Maquillage because I'm really, I'm really shook right now. Anyways, let's go in with the concealer. So, so far, I'm really liking the foundation. I'm not going to lie. We're going to give it a little bit of time like this. I to oxidize, but we're going to go in with the fucking flawless concealer from El Maquillage. And I'm just going to use it in the points I usually would. Just like the Jeffree Star concealer or any other concealer I would use. Only complaint of this is the doe foot's really hard to get out. Like, but it might get softer with time. So, I'll let you guys know. Two words. Fuck, I'm flawless. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, first. First of all, I have a few things to say. This foundation. When I took the quiz, like I said, I did not think at all that this was going to be my color. And like, it's not, I'm not going to lie, it's not perfect, perfectly my color. But summer is coming up. And honestly, this is pretty much my color, if not a little bit darker when the sun isn't in everything. If I'm not already getting more darker. On top of that, I did not think this was going to be my color. The concealer, I did not think it was going to be my color. It's literally perfectly my color as well. Like, I'm like, I'm shook right now. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I, I don't know what to say, except that we are going to have to finish off the rest of the face. Maybe the powders don't agree. <laughs> yeah, let's see. We still have a whole face to set because we just, we just put the face down. So... I'm going to set with my Morphe setting spray like I usually would, and yeah. Continuing, I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Tan Bronzer in the shade Tantalize, and I'm going in, go in. And I'm gonna go in with my Scott Barnes number 67 brush. Oh, we're just gonna toast the edges. <laughs> We 
We're trying to get that Miami look while we're in quarantine. Quarantine with the quarantini. Okay. Wow. I'm freaking. I can't. I'm on. I'm. A, I'm at a loss for words. And with this freaking bronzer that I freaking love. I can't. I have nothing but good things to say about this foundation. Wow. Okay. Now that I look amazing, let's continue. Let's go in to some highlight, I guess. Might as well. So let's go in with the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to go in with my Scott Barnes number 66 brush. And we're going to go into the shade Mesmerize here in the bottom right corner. Oh, it's closing. <laughs> we're going to go into Mesmerize here in the bottom right corner. If you've made it this far, comment down below. Every day is vacay. That's how I know the real fans made it this far in the video. <laughs> All right. Anyways, what's next? Let's see. Let's go in with some blush. So we're going to go in with the Scott Barnes Chic Chic palette. And we're going to go in with the Scott Barnes number 64 brush. And I'm going to go into shade Sweet Cheeks right here. Wow, are you guys seeing this look right now? So far, I think it's looking amazing. Next, let's go into the brows. I'm going more for a natural look today. <laughs> but let's go in with some Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I'm freaking in love with this stupid mascara. It's so good. Like, you guys seriously need to pick it up. <laughs> All right. Besides that, let's see if I have anything else left to do. I'm just going to top off the look with a Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Diamond Milk. Wow, guys. I'm freaking loving this look right now. What do you guys think so far? Yeah, I think, honestly... This freaking foundation is just as amazing as the Bobbi Brown one. And this concealer, I'm not completely sure because concealers are a little bit more than just trying it out and seeing it on the face. It's also wearing it and testing it and seeing how long it will last and how good it will last and how dry it will feel. I'll definitely give this a longer try and let you guys know what I think about it completely. But as of right now, this concealer and this foundation look amazing together and they look really well and i'm really happy with it because they were not cheap they weren't super expensive but they were not cheap <laughs> yeah i mean that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed uh let me know down below what you guys want to see next or any videos you guys would like me to do and yeah make sure you guys check out Dika the podcast my podcast is a brand new episode every single week the link will be in the description down below there's also merch coming for my podcast so if you guys want to stay tuned for that make sure to check out the link in the description down below to join for the mailing list i'll catch you guys on the next one and i hope you guys enjoyed this video peace